Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to take those five functions and make them into methods instead. There's abstract add to scene, as I did before. And now I will say send this inside this hump, mouse x, mouse y. Before I said inside this hump, mouse x, mouse y. I'm going to change inside this from being a function to being a method. So now I put it, it's going to be a method on this object. So I say send this huh, inside this. Right. And I write, that specify that inside this is an abstract method. It's a method that must be supplied by a subclass. And since we always follow the design recipe, we give it, even though it's abstract, we give it a contract and a purpose statement, because otherwise when we go to write it, we won't know what it's supposed to do. And similarly for my four um, methods here, would hit right edge, place at right edge, would hit left edge, place at left edge, we'll turn them, we're going to design them as methods, so we say send this would hit right edge, send this place at left edge. And again, we will specify that they are going to be abstract methods. That is to say they must they are methods that must be supplied by any subclass. And we give them contracts and purpose statements. So we'd hit right edge, takes no arguments, and returns a Boolean. It answers the question. Would this object hit the specified edge? And place at right edge takes no arguments and returns void. It is executed for effect. So my purpose statement shows the effect. And the effect is place this object at the specified edge moving in the opposite direction. And of course, those ball specific geometry functions which were there before as comments. They're still comments. So now in ball, again, what do I have? I have field. I have this bit of dead code. Right. Add to scene is now a define override, which it was before. Okay, because add to scene was abstract. So we, over, we supply an actual method for that abstract method. That counts as an override in the racket object system. And now what I have are the ball-specific geometry methods, which are exactly the same as they were before. Right. All I've done is to say, okay, please, I'm going to, I'm going to define them as methods. I'm going to define them to be overriding methods. So that's ball. Oops. And there's square, exactly the same story. All I have locally are my local field size. That's my ball-specific field. I have my ball specific add to scene method. And then I have my, did I say ball specific? Square specific. My square specific add to scene and my square specific geometry methods. And that is all there is to it. Get that to run. There's my square. There's my flashing ball. There's another square. Right, and of course, all of these objects are. Uh, quietly obeying uh, the position of the right edge just as they've done all along. 